Good afternoon, this is Dave Percy at the National Weather Service with Saturday's edition of Alaska Statewide Weather. Strong front moved across southeast Alaska and up over the eastern interior in the afternoon. This was followed by gusty winds of 40 to 50 miles per hour across Cook Inlet and south central Alaska. As the storm moved northward, thunderstorms developed along the Alaska Range and spread up toward the Eagle Dawson area throughout the afternoon hours. More scattered and isolated thunderstorms also developed over the west and north central interior from Minchumina on up toward Galena with moderate rain showers occurring at Sparavon and Bettles. Northeast winds of 20 to 35 miles per hour, in some cases as high as 40 miles per hour, blew along the Arctic coast with snow and fog with clouds extending all the way into Kotzebue Sound, but precipitation was limited. For tonight, look for another system to develop and spread more rain in across all of South Central Alaska and the North Gulf Coast areas. Snow levels will remain quite low with uh, snow falling as low as 1,000 feet. Otherwise, look for the winds to diminish across the eastern Alaska range areas as well as the Copper River Basin. It will stay fair with a few isolated showers over the southeast coast. Sunday, look for numerous showers across all of South Central Alaska. Rain will continue along the North Gulf Coast, but gradually change over to a more showery condition toward evening. A band of rain and snow or rain and snow showers will extend from a low pressure area over the Western Brooks Range southward to Iliamna Lake. Look for low clouds, fog, rain and drizzle to spread onto the Southwest Coast Sunday afternoon. High pressure over the southeast Bering Sea will keep winds light, but skies will be mostly cloudy with areas of fog. That will continue into Monday as well, with high pressure centered near the Perloff Islands and another center over the Alaska Peninsula. Look for considerable low clouds and fog from Bristol Bay back along the coast and up across St. Lawrence Island. Otherwise, it will be cool and showery over the eastern portions of interior Alaska as upper low pressure pushes showers into the northern southeast coast, the southern areas should remain partly to mostly sunny and dry. With Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm Dave Percy.